I'm well, Amy well, Goodman from the Democracy right, Now! This is, News this Hour. Is our, this is our last question before we have to wrap up. Quick question, just a simple yes or no from each of you, whether you support President Trump pulling the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Accord. If we could begin with Lenka. I'm here for a reason, and that's to support climate change mitigation. Just a quick, simple yes or no answer. Well, the question was whether you support President Trump pulling the United States out of the Paris Climate Accord. No, I don't support it. Ali? I know you want yes or no, but our company's statement wasn't yes or no, so please just allow me to say what it is. Um, we did not ever weigh in. There was reports, actually, that we weighed in in both directions. Our, our opinion was that it's up to them. There's a lot to decide. But whether or not the U.S. is in the Paris Climate Agreement, we will continue to work on low emissions technologies for coal. And you personally, Holly? Um, Gosh, I'm not really a policy person. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a cop out. You're right. <laughs> I personally, I'm not here to represent myself, so come talk to me afterwards. Or no, are you for or against? I'm not going to answer for my personal opinion. Amos? I think I have the easiest task. I don't think uh, Dave or Francis expect me to say anything else. I work for the Obama administration. I supported the Paris Agreements, fully thought it was a great achievement for the president. Barry Worthington, yes or no? There's actually two answers. Um, the, the, the U.S. Energy Association uh, did not take a position before the president pulled out of Paris. As soon as he pulled out of Paris, we issued a statement saying that he should renegotiate Paris. From my own personal standpoint, uh, the answer is yes because of the reasons I laid out. We're, you we're, 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 achi pulling the we're achieving the emissions reductions goals without having the regulatory burden. We're doing it for other reasons. Francis Brooke. Um, thanks, Barry. And now we're going to go to closing. No, Francis, from our I'd speakers. like your response. Can you? We're not. Just yet. two more people. Simple question, just yes or no. I mean, pretty clearly, we both work for the administration, so that's who we're here to represent, and it's not going to change anything. So we're going to go and David closing Banks, now. your final question. Um, so we're going to start with Barry yes no? Worthington. He's going to close for us. David, any yes? I work for the President of the United States. So is it a yes or a no? That was David Banks, White House Special Assistant for International Energy and Environment, the person we've been trying to get on the show who's been standing next to our broadcast. Before that, Francis Brook, policy aide in the office of Vice President Mike Pence, of the four corporate representatives pushing nuclear gas and coal, two of them uh, said they were, well, uh, Lenka Kohler of New Scale Energy and Amos Hochstein of Telluride disagreed with Trump pulling the U.S. out of this climate agreement. Holly Kretka of Peabody Wouldn't Say and Barry Worthington of the U.S. Energy Association agreed with President Trump's withdrawal. That was the final question at the Trump administration's one and only panel here at the COP23.